Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are just unboxing and building a server cabinet. So this didn't have any instructions with it, so a lot of editing done to this video. I'm just going to be quiet and let the video roll out, so I'll catch up with you guys further into the video. Stay tuned, thanks for watching guys, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, I do appreciate it.
So here we have the server cabinet in its final position. Thank God it actually managed to fit through the door, thanks to my uh, fiance's help. So starting at the top, we have a 24 port gigabit smart switch. In the middle is a PF Sense, but that's not actually running at the moment. It's going to be in a future video, so looking forward to that. Uh, just underneath that is an 8 port gigabit smart switch again, uh, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to be connecting to that. Just underneath that at the bottom of the server rack is a six-way uh, surge protection plug. As you can see, I've not long installed that. Um, I've had to go out and buy some extra screws because there was only about, I don't know, 12 in with the case. So I've used all them up. So I have done a little bit of cable managing, but I've still got a lot more to, uh, to put into the case before I actually finish doing it. It'd be quite frustrating like doing the cables up and undoing it because it actually does take quite some time to do. Um, I've gone out and also bought a tray for around £25. Uh, need to install the rails before I actually install it into the case properly. So at the moment it's just sitting there. Um, struggling to find places on like eBay to that actually sell them abroad. Um, but here we have my BT hub. This is going to be disappearing soon. But for now it's here, so got to deal with it. Hopefully upgrading to fiber optic. Um, you can see the ADSL cable coming in. I've also got an access point, which is the white one. And the black one is the switch cable coming into my room. Um, I've got two leads here. One's VGA 10 meter. And I've got one um, USB, which goes into two USBs. And that's another 10 meter, just in case remote connection or something like that don't work. But if you have enjoyed the video guys be sure to smash that like button i do appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this in the future i also do gaming videos and product reviews so be sure to stick around if you enjoy watching them kind of videos but again don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching